The Monkees is a television series that started in 1966 about a rock and roll band. The show follows the adventures of four young men trying to make a name for themselves in the music industry. It's known for its comedy and catchy tunes. The show featured many guest stars, including some classic Hollywood actors. As you watch, you might find yourself laughing at the funny moments, surprised by some shocking facts, and even a bit sad at times. Now, I want to ask you two things. First, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor that appeared in the series? And second, what is your most treasured memory or experience related to the monkeys? We would love to hear your stories and memories, so please share them in the comments below. Keep watching because there's more to come. Now these days, who'd ever suspect? Ha <laughs> ha! It's a cruel world, I can't stand it anymore! The Monkees, a television series from 1966, was more than just a show about a rock band. It was a new kind of musical comedy that brought together four young men who were both funny and talented musicians. The show was set in the swinging 60s, a time of great change in music and culture. The Monkees were not just characters on a screen, they became a real band that made hit songs and albums. Their music and the show's style captured the fun and freedom of the era, making it a favorite for many and leaving a lasting mark on television and music history. The show combined comedy, music, and the spirit of the times in a way that was fresh and exciting. It was a show that made people laugh and sing along, and it still brings joy to those who watch it today. The Monkees showed that a TV show could be more than just stories. It could be about feelings, music, and bringing people together. It was a bright spot in the history of television and remains loved by fans all over the world. The Monkees was not just a show. It was a phenomenon that reflected the energy and creativity of the 60s. It was a place where music and laughter met, and it is remembered fondly for that unique blend. The show may have been about a fictional band, but the joy it brought was very real. The Monkees was a show that brought a little bit of rock and roll into living rooms and hearts everywhere. It was a show that was as much about the times as it was about the music, and that is why it is still celebrated today. The Monkees was a show that captured the spirit of an era and turned it into timeless entertainment. It was a show that proved that sometimes television can be truly magical. The Monkees was a show that was ahead of its time, and it remains a beloved classic. It was a show that was all about the music, the laughs, and the good times, and, and that is what has made it endure. The Monkees was a show that was as much a part of the 60s as the music and the fashion, and it remains a symbol of that vibrant time. It was a show that was about four friends making music and making memories, and it has left a lasting legacy. The Monkees was a show that was full of life, full of music, and full of fun, and it continues to bring smiles to new generations. It was a show that was a reflection of its time, but also a show that has stood the test of time. The Monkees was a show that was all about the joy of music and the power of friendship, and it is a show that will always be remembered. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the cultural revolution of the 60s, and it remains a part of our cultural memory. It was a show that was about more than just the music, it was about the moment, and that moment has lasted a lifetime. The Monkees was a show that was a celebration of the 60s, and it is a celebration that continues to this day. It was a show that was about the fun of being young and the excitement of making music, and it is a show that has left a mark on both television and music. The Monkees was a show that was a snapshot of a time, but also a show that has become timeless. It was a show that was about the laughter and the songs, and it is a show that will always be sung. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the soundtrack of the 60s, and it is a soundtrack that still plays on. It was a show that was about the adventure of life and the magic of music, and it is a show that will never be forgotten. The Monkees was a show that was a window into the 60s, and it is a window that still looks out on a world of fun and music. It was a show that was about the thrill of the new and the comfort of the familiar, and it is a show that has become a classic. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the rhythm of the 60s, and it is a rhythm that still beats strong. It was a show that was about the beat of the music and the beat of the heart, and it is a show that beats on in the hearts of those who love it. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the melody of the 60s, and it is a melody that still resonates. It was a show that was about the harmony of friends and the harmony of music, and it is a show that will always be in harmony with the times. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the dance of the 60s, and it is a dance that still goes on. It was a show that was about the rhythm of the times and the rhythm of the music, and it is a show that will always keep us dancing. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the spirit of the 60s, and it is a spirit that still lives on. 
It was a show that was about the energy of the era and the energy of the music, and it is a show that will always be energetic. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the culture of the 60s, and it is a culture that still thrives. It was a show that was about the style of the times and the style of the music, and it is a show that will always be stylish. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the history of the 60s, and it is a history that still matters. It was a show that was about the story of the times and the story of the music, and it is a show that will always tell a story. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the art of the 60s, and it is an art that still inspires. It was a show that was about the creativity of the times and the creativity of the music, and it is a show that will always be creative. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the heart of the 60s, and it is a heart that still beats. There was a show that was about the love of the times and the love of the music, and it is a show that will always be loved. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the dream of the 60s, and it is a dream that still comes true. It was a show that was about the imagination of the times and the imagination of the music, and it is a show that will always be imaginative. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the light of the 60s, and it is a light that still shines. It was a show that was about the brightness of the times and the brightness of the music, and it is a show that will always be bright. The Monkees was a show that was a part of the color of the 60s, and it is a color that still colors our world. It was a show that was about the vibrancy of the times and the vibrancy of the music, and it is a show that will always be vibrant. In a unique casting call, an advertisement in Variety drew 437 individuals, leading to the selection of Michael Nesmith, while Davy Jones was already set to join due to a prior contract. Mickey Dolenz and Peter Tork completed the group, the latter recommended by Stephen Stills. Together, they underwent six weeks of improvisational training with director James Frawley. Meanwhile, Ron Massack showcased his diverse talents in the Army's Rolling Along show, touring globally in 1960-61. The show's wardrobe featured eight button shirts in red, blue, off-white, and black reminiscent of Western films, paired initially with grainy gray pants, later replaced by sky blue pinstripe ones, Variations in shirt colors appeared throughout the episodes, adding a visual twist to the ensemble. In the landscape of 1960s television, musical acts were a popular draw. The show featuring the group known as the Monkees presented a unique take on musical segments, often showcasing surreal and imaginative sequences that contrasted sharply with the straightforward performances seen on the Partridge Family's program. Despite their origins as a manufactured band for TV, the Monkees proved their musicianship by performing live, singing on their albums, playing their instruments, and even writing some of their music. This authenticity was in stark contrast to the Partridge Family, where only two members contributed musically and the group never performed live. Michael Nesmith, a member of the Monkees, demonstrated his commitment to the group's success by foregoing the lead single position for a song he believed in, despite it not being released for decades. His choice, The Girl I Knew Somewhere, eventually found its place as a B-side to another hit. Mickey Dolenz continued his musical journey post-show with various singles and voiceover work for animated series. Despite critical acclaim, his solo efforts did not achieve commercial success, highlighting the unpredictable nature of the music industry. Excuse me. Are you still out there? Oh. 